Hello and welcome to another episode of I Am Frank Beer Presents. I'm New T and today we're going to be knocking up some homemade mushroom soup. Now I'm going to go through the ingredients but once we've ended pop over to ironfrankbeard.com and you'll find all of our recipes. There you're going to find on a lot of the meals alternatives. Um, so if you're like myself and you've got diabetes you might be looking for uh, low sugar, slow burning carbs. If you're after a healthy heart you're going to be wanting high fiber, low fat, um, meat free, meat alternatives, whatever you're going to have reference values for every recipe so you know exactly what you're putting in. Um, just on the subject of diabetes uh, and a healthy heart, whilst you're over there just have a sneaky peek if you get a bit of time at the blogs. Mammalian bacterium. It just might be an interesting read. I'll leave it there. Right, that's it. Let's get cooking. Right, let's get cracking. Let's get that on there. Get the water boiling up nice. Right, in here I've got uh, a litre of I Am Frank Beard uh, vegetable stock. If you've not had time to make it or for speed, you can use uh, vegetable stock cubes, but you will have to adjust the reference values. So on this recipe, the vegetable stock itself will have its reference values. If you do use stock cubes, take them away, put the reference values on the box as per uh, 100 ml of liquid. You're gonna have approximately in each serving of 150 grams, um, around 100 ml, give or take a little bit. So what we've got, simple recipe, We've got 500 grams of chopped mushrooms. We've got five grams of cream. We'll explain that in a bit why it's so little. And we've got some corn flour and we've got 100 ml of water, cold water. So we'll get cracking and we'll get our mushrooms in the pan. You can fry them off if you prefer. Um, the texture will be slightly different, but you're going to have a fire, higher fat content. Um, as for the flavour, it's not going to affect it. Um, as you can see, this is packed, packed out with mushrooms. Now, we're going to have to give that a mo to get to the boil. So what I'll do is I'll be back in a jiffy. Right, and we're back. So I brought this to the boil and reduced it back down to a simmer. It's now been simmering for around 10 minutes. You want to do 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and a oh, lovely smell coming out of there. If you like me, a fan, it's beautiful. Uh, once again, on the website, in the blogs, microbiome, it's your gut fungi. Another, could be an interesting read. Amazing things, mushrooms. Okay, so let's get going on the rest. We've got... 35 grams of corn flour and 100 ml of water. I've put plenty in here, but what we don't want to do is throw it all in straight away. You might end up with some glue. Um, if I don't smother myself when I'm doing this, I'm trying not to do your ear rolls with the fork scraping. Um, give it a good mix. Now for this bit, we want, once we've, we're happy, can have a little taste of the mushrooms, we need to then bring the liquid back up to the boil. So I'll be back in a jiffy. And here we are again. Okay, so we're back to the boil. And the reason why I said we don't want to throw this in I've given you plenty because what we want to do is bring this to a nice consistency, soup consistency. So whilst we're stirring, we're just going to slowly pour, maybe a, a quarter of it. I've just poured it all over the hob. Let's give that a quick wipe. That's it. And as you pour in, just give it a minute, let it get back up to the boil. 
uh, and you'll start to see it thicken. And it's just starting to go now. So we maybe use uh, a quarter of the mix. We'll add another little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the lid on. And we're just going to let that come back to the bowl. Right, so we're boiling again. Cooking. I was going to say kicking on gas, but we're not, are we? <laughs> okay. So she's starting to go. I'm going to go a little bit more. What you will find is as you mix it, when it cools, it will congeal a bit more. But once it's back in the pan, it'll start to loosen up again. So, I think, really, I'm happy with where that is. Maybe not. Let's go mad. Let's just pop a little bit more in. I've nearly used a lot. <laughs> right, I'm going to bring that to the boil again, and then we'll see where we're at. And if it's like glue, we're going to start again. <laughs> right, we're back again. Okay, if you just have a little nose in there, Len. If you just see, it's just a nice consistency. Go a bit thicker, entirely up to you. I'm going to leave it there because I'm happy with that. Uh, we've done far too many takes. So what we're going to do now is place it up. Time. Right, this mix will give you around nine servings, 150 grams or 150 mil, same weight. So what we're going to do is just put one serving in this bowl. Just... Um, Weigh it out. Visuals are always a good thing. Almost there. Look at that. 137. 150. Three. Right. 150 mil. Now, earlier on, I showed you just a, a small amount of cream. Five grams or five mil. That is for one portion. So that's why we only had this little amount. So, all it is, you can do it in the pan, or you can do as I'm doing here. Just mix it in when you're ready to serve, and just bring it to a nice cream mushroom soup. Now, with the stock, we only put a couple of grams of salt and pepper in. So this will be great for low salt, but it might need a little bit of seasoning. And it might need a little bit of bread. But what we're going to do is just chop it off with a couple of green leaves. And that, <laughs> that's it. Now. This has been I Am Frank Beer Presents. I've been New Tea. And that... It's homemade mushroom soup with a green leaf.